For millennia, people have used plants as medicine. And here at Tatamagouche, it's one of the routes to bridge cultures and build relationships. There's been lots of programming here that's brought together First Nations people with um, members of the non-native or the settler community that have built a base of understanding and a way of being together and, and a trust that makes uh, these other programs possible. And also specifically in terms of plants, um, there's such a, a, a hunger really for plant medicine teachings from any tradition. If you like the drugstore plant, um, medicine, if you abuse it, it'll hurt you. Same with plants, a any kind of plants. You might, and not to, um, not to pick a plant that you're not familiar with and you're not sure of what it is, because there's a lot of plants that are, look the same, but one might be poisonous and one might be good for you. Like the, the sweet flag, not sweet flag and the, um, blue flag. They look similar in the marshes, but one is poisonous and they have to be sure. What we're hearing is that there's, uh, there's really a need in the Mi'kmaq community too to have uh, contact with, with, uh, with teachers. So it's certainly a privilege for non-natives to experience the, those teachings and it's uh, very important to the Mi'kmaq community for the enduring tradition to live on and for the traditions to evolve. We're all here and God, the Creator, created all of us and He provided all the medicines that we walk on. And that, to me, it didn't just, um, He didn't provide and make, make for just native people. It, he made it for all human people. Yeah. That's very important that uh, I share my knowledge. The mission and service of the United Church supports these important bridges between cultures. Thank you, and please continue to give.